and welcome back to Read the Third Grade Angels, Chapter 3. Everybody say read aloud. Read aloud. Say read aloud. Read aloud. Say R E A D aloud. R E A D. Everybody say read aloud. Read aloud. Say read aloud. Read aloud. Say riggedy riggedy read aloud. Riggedy riggedy read aloud. All right, guys, thank you for coming to the Shaw's house to read. We are in the playroom today rather than the bedroom, and we hope you enjoy chapter three. So let's um, remind ourselves what happened in chapter two. So we had, uh, what was his name? George, which is, he called himself Suds. Remember he was in Miss Sims class and they were talking about what third grade angels were and he was saying all these things Then he couldn't believe himself that he was saying it. And um, one of the boys, Joseph was like, you the dude, because he was saying some crazy stuff. So he couldn't wait for recess and the bell rang and that's what happened at the end of chapter two. Chapter three is called Boink Bonk. Boink! I heard the word and felt something hit the back of my head at the same time. I turned. It was Joseph. What was that? I said. This. He held out a pack of gummy bears. Take one. Nah, I said, because I don't like gummy bears. And then for some strange reason, I heard myself say, okay. And I was reaching out and taking a green one. Thanks. No problem. He took one, a red one, and stuffed the pack in his pocket. So George, what do you think of all this angel bunk? It's not George, I told him, it's Suds. George is just on my birth certificate. I know what you mean, he said. I'm Joey, he sneered. Hm. I hate Joseph. Teachers always do that. He held out his fist. I stared at it. Bump me, dude. Oh, I said, I bumped him. I guess I did it right because he didn't laugh or sneer. It was my first ever fist bump. All right, guys, give me a fist bump. Boop. All right. So he said again, what do you think of all that angel bunk? I heard him the first time. I didn't know what to say because to tell the truth, I didn't think it was a bunk. I didn't recognize the word bunk, but it sounded bad. Oh, I don't know, I said. Where's it all come from, he said. I recited the chant for him. I stopped at third grade angels. He sneered. He wagged his head. Dumb. We didn't do nothing like that in my school. I was thinking this is your school now. But I said, where was that? He gave me the name I never heard of and said, so what's fourth grade? Rats, I said. His whole face changed. Like he had just ripped open the best birthday present he, got, he ever got. Whoa, rats, cool. I'm going to like next year. I'm not, I thought. We were standing by the fence near the swings. I saw you looking at her, he said. Huh? I said, even though I knew exactly what he was talking about. He chuckled. <laughs> don't pretend. He poked me in the arm. And don't look away. You were looking at her the whole time. Who, I said. The hottie, he said, <laughs> grinning. He nodded toward the girl on the swing. What's her name? Judy Billings, so you like her, huh? Heck no, I said. He grinned. You were looking at her in class too. I thought you were gonna mash your nose into the back of her head. Like this. I was not, I said. He laughed, he poked me again. Things were getting complicated. I started to walk away. He grabbed my arm. Hey, he said, who's that? He was pointing to the big kid sitting at the bottom end of the sliding board. A line of kids was waiting at the top to slide down, but nobody was telling the big kid to move. George Willis, I said. The kid you were talking about in class? Yeah, he's in fifth grade. He was a rat last year. Yeah? Was he the boss rat? Yeah, I guess so, I said. That, that, the way Joey was looking at Gerald Willis, I could tell he wanted to be a boss rat someday. Then suddenly he was running across the playground to the sliding board. He pushed his way to the top of the ladder, threw out his hands and yelled, Geronimo! And slid down right into the back of Gerald Willis. It was like a monkey crashing into a gorilla. Gerald Willis didn't flinch. Flinch means where you, you kind of go like that. Joey, 
faster than you could think, hopped with, hopped with both feet into Gerald's shoulder and pushed off and hit the ground running. Gerald Willis was screaming bad words after him, but Joey was only laughing. By the time he got back to me, his face was red and his eyes were flashing. He was gasping for breath. <sighs> Everybody was staring, including Jilly Billings. Her swing wasn't moving. And, in, and then Joey was walking over to her. Uh-oh. What do you think Joey's going to say or do with um Judy? What do you think? He'll probably say something and embarrass himself. He's going to embarrass himself? What do you think? Um, he can tell that he loves her. Ooh, he loves her. <laughs> He stood in front of her, still gasping, kind of hunched over. She stared at him. Her mouth was open. He turned back to me. His face red, his red face was grinning. His arm came up. It was pointing at me. He squeezed out the words between gasps. He loves you. Uh-oh. How would you feel if someone did that to you? How'd you feel? Mm -mm. You don't know. How'd you feel? Nah. How'd you guys feel? Would you feel like, ooh, thank you? Would you be like, oh, why did you tell her? Judy didn't move at first. Like, she didn't hear him. Then her head started turning real slow until it stopped at me. Like, <sighs> her face was still the same, boggled. Like she was in the front row at a movie. The only other thing that moved was Gerald Willis, who was heading for Joey. I went into a coma, and then the school bell was ringing, and the kids were running for the door. Oh, guys, what do you think Suds is going to do now that Judy knows that he loves her? What do you think he's going to do? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know is not a good answer. What do you guys think it's going to do? Type it in the notes below. All right, guys, that is all for today. Thank you for joining the Shaw's Read to You. Everybody say read aloud. Read aloud. Say read aloud. Read aloud. Say R-E-A-D aloud. R-E-A-D. Everybody say read aloud. Read aloud. Say read aloud. Read aloud. Say riggedy riggedy read aloud. Riggedy riggedy read aloud. All right, guys, until next time, have a great day.